every day there were there were, there were more seals. Okay, we're at Pelican Point. Um, Catch is joining us today, and we have seen a pup uh, near the lighthouse. It's got a um, very white, looks like a packing strap around his neck. On some days, they they came home and they they rescued 15, 16, 17 seals. All in, in one go, and that's just our little stretch of beach here that doesn't even cover the other colonies in Namibia. So we realize that this, this, this issue is, is actually massive. It's everywhere. They're very strong animals. I would say it's like dealing with a 150 kilogram pit bull. This is a commercially used hand line, so it's a thick one millimeter monofilament fishing line. Seals find them, start playing with it, and until they just eventually get completely entangled and wait for us. There's a lot of seals in front of We're stalking the guy we've called Hulk. It's in a massive, massive tangle that looks like green gilmer. Whatever happens out there, the, the actual seal rescues are saving, saving one life, is, is actually much bigger than this particular animal. No, no, no. It is showcasing that a um, teeny tiny little piece of plastic oh. that nobody was concerned about actually ended up almost killing an animal. It is showcasing the horrible state of our oceans. We'd like to be able to, to institute some sort of change. Taking this to industry to change policies to, to prevent all these things from ending up in the ocean in the first place. We're removing it, we're removing it. We will still be okay, but the next generation is not. You can already see the damage everywhere. They, they need to understand that, uh, that there is a, a, a severe situation, that there is a solid problem. And they also need to understand that you can actually fix it. We want them to be involved because we want to show them the way out of this. Right here.